So he has a he has an interesting journey to share with us about his um, fascination and growing of mushroom. Firstly, he was self-taught, and then he was uh, inspired to go and learn more. So he actually went to learn about it in Thailand, and then um, how to apply that into integrated permaculture practice. So I will leave him hand over this time to him to do his sharing for us. Over to you, Liam. Welcome. All right. Uh, just in case, um, I'm a Singaporean, and um, <laughs> Liam is actually a nickname. You know, in Thai culture, you must have a nickname and not your real name because they will always remember the shortest name to address you. So, William, and take away the first three letters, it becomes Liam. All right? So, Liam is my nickname. And uh, today's topic is actually to grow, how you grow in a foreign land. And I hope this experience of sharing can inspire, okay, people out there, uh, take their first step and set up a farm in maybe in Thailand or somewhere else confidently, all right? Um, to begin with, uh, I'm going to show you a video on um, how the setup of the farm from a bare, bare piece of land until it's fully operational now. And... Um, we have a look. It takes about about two minutes uh, to to you know to finish off the video, and subsequently we will touch on the first question that I would like to sincerely share before you really look into setting up a farm in the foreign land. All right, shall we enjoy the video? <laughs> okay. We are seeing the Okay, this is the um, very humble farm that um, we started and um, it's about 3,800 square feet. Um, it's not um, very huge and we use this to begin our proof of concept and um, right up into the um, stage of expansion. So we will be shifting to another piece of uh, bigger land, which is 17,000 square feet, uh, to ramp up our production, to focus on uh, supply on edible mushroom in the local market, as well as uh, dietary supplement product like Lingzi. So currently, uh, we are growing about uh, only these two species, which is the Lingzi as well as the oyster mushroom. And this is 
the second slide which I like to uh, share with everybody here. How much are you prepared to fail? The word fail might sound a bit negative, but in all business, it's, it carries very high risk, especially when you are doing such a thing in a foreign land. And being a Singaporean myself, I don't speak Thai. Um, even I attended the school to learn how to speak Thai. It's, I still can't connect with them actually. So um, that is a great disadvantage. But somehow I managed to overcome it um, to, you know, to, to solve the problem. And coming back to this scene, how much are you prepared to fail? I will use my own personal experience to share with everybody here. And I ask myself, what is my financial bottom line? At that point of time, I given myself six months, six months of money that I have enough for me to see it through before anything else. So having six months to make sure I get in my first round of investor and partner, otherwise on the seven month, I will have to wind up and call it quits and come back to Singapore again. Uh, fortunately, it did not happen. And the six months never come, even right now. We still have many six more months to go. And so far, uh, we are good to go to uh, entering our next stage of expansion. And we are still looking for investors, actually, partners. And hopefully, after this session, uh, some of you guys might be interested to become our partners and play a greater role in the development of Mushroom World. can always uh, DM me personally, right? And what do I get from this uh, statement here? How much are you prepared to fail? Um, the moment we identify our fear, F-E-A-R, to me, I fear no more because that is my bottom line, six months, okay? And once you establish that concern out from your mind, you stay focused, stay positive, and do what you know best. And you follow your vision. I have a vision, very clear in my mind, every step of the way, and I'll do it. And uh, being a Singaporean without any farm experience, let alone setting up a physical presence there, I just figured it out, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a step uh, higher risk than anything else, but somehow in my mind, I felt it can be done. Although the picture are not clear, but once you are there, as you get closer, you will see very clearly. You, you've got to feel that in order to know that uh, children is knocking her head, so most probably she, she has seen it and she, she, she understands what I'm saying. <laughs> 